Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with Christian and Stephen of Anne Berlin. How's it going, guys? Really good. Going great. Good. So welcome back to The Rave. Thanks. And congrats on having number one single on the alternative radio charts or Feel Good Drag. That's amazing. Yeah. I can't believe you wrote that for us. Thank you. (sighs) I mean, I'm talented. What can I say? (laughs) (laughs) Actually, I was talking to her. She wrote that for us. Oh, I mean, she's talented. What can I say? Thank you for Did Feel Good Drag make you feel good? Oh. Oh. Like that? Like that? (laughs) Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, just complete surprise, like when it came out of nowhere. Um, It was a song that we had done on the second record and just kind of got lost in the shuffle, but we all believed that it was going to be a radio single. We just knew it. And... uh, so it, you know, it, it started charting, and we, our goal was just to have it in the top 20. And then when it hit like the top 20, we were all jumping up and down. Then we went to number 10, and we were all jumping up and down, and had no idea it was going to make it to number one. So we were all elated. Awesome. All right. So last time we spoke here, we uh, did the interview in the pool. Yes. So you guys seem to have some fun when you're down there, right? Yeah, yeah it, was it was awesome. Good time. I mean, it is weird taking electronical equipment into the pool, you know. I know. Uh, the water was a little cold, too. Yeah, it shorted a couple things out, so that's, you know, hey, we're doing it again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think learned, I had that life vest, too. Yeah, that's yes, true. Absolutely. We were on the you deep end. Get the water end, wings so. on. <laughs> so how has this tour been going so far? It's been great. I mean, we're only really like a week into it, but all the shows have been sold out, and it's just been awesome. Taking Back Sunday, great dudes. Emmy on the Coast are great dudes, great bands, and... It's been awesome. We're having a blast so far. So I know we're all really stoked to be go, to be out with Taking Back Sunday. That's been kind of a band goal for a long time. You know, you've got lists of bands that you would love to tour with at some point in your life, and Taking Back Sunday was always on that list. So, would you say they're one of your favorite bands to tour with? And like, who else have you guys really enjoyed touring with most? Bayside are like best friends of ours. Newfound Glory. We just toured with recently in Japan. Those guys are awesome. We hit it off with them like within the first couple minutes of really meeting them actually but yeah i can't say any bands that we don't like you know what i'm saying like just all the bands have been really cool like uh to us so far but we're only like he said we're only a couple days in so we'll let you know how it goes by at the end (laughs) next time we'll get the update all right so congrats on the continued success of new surrender and uh tell us about the new single breaking um it's just about to hit the radio we're, we're, we're kind of nervous excited about it you know and it's just um but universal has really gotten behind it and so we couldn't be happier you know like we i think when we kind of started to do the record our producer neil Avron said like this is the song this is what's gonna you know breaking is the it was my pick for the single and so that kind of gave us a lot of confidence and then the label coming back and saying the same thing really you know kind of boosted the confidence as well have you guys worked on a video for it yet or we Pol- haven't preliminarily but you know like kind of just talked about it you know now we haven't even talked about it as a band you know we kind of know that you know if it is going to go for you know the single and stuff like that like when it does i think that's the time we shoot the video but we have been absolutely dismally busy you know these last few months i mean there hasn't been a moment to breathe you know so i think as soon as we catch our breath you know that'll be the first priority what he said we did have one video concept, that one where we were going to dress you up like a woman and chase you around town. Mm-hmm. And so that's kind of like what we're That's kind of the What's one. What's the other kinda. concept that you were thinking of? Um, we're all different superheroes. Oh, superheroes. We're and, making this uh, up as we go along. But yeah, superheroes. And, and uh, yeah, you, you know, we're fighting the, uh, the bad superheroes. Bad superheroes. What, what are they called? Novel, the villains? Yep, novel concept. My yeah. Novel. And you, but no, you're, the, you're the bad one. Oh, I'm the bad What was yeah. your superhero power? speed reading <laughs> <laughs> perfect that's you're scary that is that is ominous for i have sure. the power of perfect spelling that is amazing yep Gosh. and speed reading that's like a killer combination that is you're scary so steven what would yours be villains beware um well if if, if maybe we're going to be arch nemesis so maybe mine is um, um the the power of grammatical error and so maybe like i can see a billboard and switch around some letters to really He's like dyslexic ca- dyslexic i capitalize weird things and don't cap on it it just drives him berserk mm-hmm. nice. so yeah this is a good concept actually we are crazy <laughs> so speaking of crazy another fun project of yours uh Anne berlin tv so check that out first off i think it's hilarious secondly as a fan we want to see that kind of stuff so thank you for that awesome and great yeah so no we thought of doing that and do enjoy kinda, doing it <laughs> it's kind of something we've been doing all along you know like uh, you, i mean as as a I was trying to explain this to somebody, but as your band gets bigger, I feel like you there's it becomes a, a wider and wider gap between you and the audience, you know. And I, we always were so much into um, not 
not gaining fans, but gaining friends. You know, we've always wanted our fans to feel like they were a part of this. You know, like that that they're the reason that we're here. They're the reason that we're on the stage tonight. And so, with that, like kind of technologically, you know, technology, we can kind of like let them into our lives like more and more. And I think that was a big part of it, just to to make sure that they felt that they weren't left behind. Like just because we sign on a major label, like we're not you know bigger or better than them or anything like that. So with things like that, and with like. Um, you know, everything from MySpace to Twitter, and et cetera, et cetera. We just kind of want to stay connected to where they're at. Oh, well, that's awesome. To, I mean, for, I said as a fan, we want to see that. And also, Stephen, last year when we spoke, um, I brought up when working on your last album, you guys had that webcam. If you look out to watch and kind of see yeah, the targets of yeah. the album. That was creepy. Yeah. Creepy. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, you also said that this time you wanted to explore something new. So, yes. have you thought of what that is yet? Uh, we were thinking about putting webcams everywhere, not just in one room. I'm talking like the bathroom, the living room. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we haven't really thought about it too much. You know, like we definitely want to do something different. We were, we were actually trying to, we were, you know, kind of throwing around ideas to, we have this great web guy. He does like all our message boards and a lot of this stuff. His name's Reed. And maybe have him come out and kind of like document, you know, the whole thing online. You know, as far as like maybe set up webcams one day and the next day, you know, field questions from fans or something like that. So that the whole way through instead of, because it was really hard because you were so focused on trying to concentrate on the record, you really didn't have time to, you know, make sure that you were in front of the web camera, make sure you talk to kids and stuff like that. But we want to try to implement that even more. Um, and I think like by hiring somebody to come out there the full time and kind of like that's his job is to, you know, track down the person who's not really working and stuff like that. You know, if they have so, a little break, maybe spend five minutes online somehow. So a little confessional. Yeah, or something you know, like a confessional or something different. You know, again, like the, the bigger your band gets, um, you know, it is harder to like make sure that people know that you still care. We just want to make sure and take every effort and stride to let them know that they're still our friends. Very cool. All right. So, Christian, I see your art right here. Can you show us what that is and what's most meaningful to you? Oh, man, I got a smorgasbord of <laughs> tattoos here. They all have like some sort of religious connotation. This is Hebrew. This is a Greek key. This is an ace of spades. I, don't, I guess that's not really religious, but... Uh, me, me and a bunch of friends got this tattoo together. I have like a group of friends of like 20 or 30 dudes from high school and we're all still friends. So we thought that was rare. So we all got tattoos. Um, yeah. I mean, the Hebrew says basically love God and love your neighbor as yourself. And uh, Greek key is like a symbol for eternity or everlasting life. And yeah, a bunch of different stuff. Thank you very much. You're like an encyclopedia on your arm. I know. I'm getting the whole Bible story on my body. <laughs> You should, front to back. Mm -hmm. All right, so any, you know, anything else you guys want to add for tonight's show for your fans? Uh, this time I plan on le a lot less blood. Remember last time that kid was bleeding and that woman died and mm -hmm. broken arms? Yep. We're going to try to tone down the show just a little bit. No more mm -hmm. goat sacrifices. None now. of that this time. We learned our lesson last time. But no, I mean, you know, I was, I, I, I love, you know, I love it here at the Rave. Like every show we play here is just always just mad. So I'm really, really looking forward to tonight. Mm-hmm to all your fans. So thank you very much, guys, for spending time with us again. Thanks for having us. And you're very welcome. So next time, we'll do it again. We'll have some more fun stories. Absolutely. Perhaps a little more, you know, exploring around the rave, right? Absolutely. Let's do it. Yes. Maybe that help, might help build the concept for the, you know, breaking video, maybe something That's here. true. Good point. We could have, like, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer's ghost come over here in the Eagles ballroom and haunt us. Mm. Who knows? This, this could go several places. Sweet. All right. <laughs> so thank you, guys. You got thank it. Thank you for spending time with us. And thank you for watching The Rave TV. Make sure to check out Anne Berlin's current album, New Surrender. We'll see you next time on The Rave TV.